All right, guys. Hello, and welcome to episode number fourteen, the first episode of our second season. As you guys can see, we have our schedule uh, updated. We'll go through the circuits here. And we also have the sprint weekends set up properly. I believe the first one was Japan. I could be wrong. I was just looking at the photo off the browser and uh, going from there. So we are feeling really good about it. And I believe the last time we started in Australia was 2019. I could be wrong, but I believe that's accurate. I don't know. Um, and I checked the database editor for the team performance coming into the next day, this season. And just like last season, we're at the bottom of the board and uh, we're starting out negative. So we're going to be very vigilant about our money this season. Um, we're probably not going to work on upgrades and stuff like that uh, as much as we want to i do want to try and focus on our research into 2026 especially we're expecting a big regulation change coming in uh, even though we do have some limited atr periods kind of stuff so let's get this season started 65 days until australia comes in we are in debt Formula 2 driver roster here, Formula 3, and our team roster. We went over this in the last episode, but we'll have a better view of this. Sergio Perez taking car one for Red Bull, Lando Norris, Oscar Piastri, and Carlos Sainz, Charles Leclerc, Dennis Hauger is the one coming in to Ferrari. Some very surprising, and not Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton will be sticking with Mercedes. You can see him down there on the bottom. Fernando Alonso and Valtteri Bottas for Aston Martin. And um, Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen. This is a dangerous lineup here for Mercedes. They may be running a really good. Kevin Magnussen and Yugi Tsunoda for Porsche. Uh, they bought out um, V-Carb. Uh, Red Bull no longer has a secondary team. Now it's Mercedes. So we're backing Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen. As a high-tech GP with Logan Sargent and Frederick Vesti. Paul Aaron. I thought he was going to be a reserve driver. But he is the car one driver. He was going to be our reserve for this year. We we're going to put him on the grid in 2026. But Williams already changed their mind. Because Williams is also part of the uh, uh, Ferrari Academy family. With uh, four teams technically. High-tech, Williams, Mercedes, and Aston Martin. Alpine. Sticking with Pierre Gasly and picking up George Russell from Mercedes. Zhou Guan Yu, Daniel Ricciardo for Kick Selber. Uh, preparing for um, them to become Audi Sport next season. Uh, so we'll see. But I'm pretty sure we're going to get another crazy driver transfer roster. As most of the people on the grid, I think three, maybe four people on the grid are uh, running two season contracts. And we'll go from there. And then last but not least, Haas, Nico Hulkenberg staying on the grid with them. And then Alexander Albon coming from Williams. And then the normal debt message. As we move on, uh, I don't know if we have that period started. We're actually going to stop and look. Uh, I may be pulling a short stick here. Uh, design. ATR period, we do have an ATR period, so that is my fault. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the underfloor. We'll do half. We'll do half and half. What is it now? 2.8, 2.9, since we uh, uh, voted and lowered our count. And that's gonna be 38. We're gonna go for cornering on the underfloor. Low. And try to go for that. Ah. And then lifespan. We'll go. We'll go mi minimum lifespan to get that high speed. That corner and try to get that stay within that midfield fight. And we don't have money for parts, of course. I completely forgot about that. So, no parts for us. Like I said, we're going to be starting off on the back foot, so we won't be able to do anything until we have a decent amount of money coming in. And 
in the positive. Um, maybe we'll have to get in touch with um, uh, Toto about getting some uh, donations. But we'll have to wait and see as we head into Australia. And um, I'm not really looking forward to it being another repeat of the start of last season. But we'll have to go with that. So we'll go ahead and sim forward to the weekend uh, just like last season we'll do qualifying um, this time we'll do Australia and then we'll simulate the next race and then we'll pick and choose from there but it's gonna be two race episodes where one of them gets simulated the other one gets done manually so we'll see you guys at qualifying hello and welcome to the much anticipated qualifying session these days, it's a much faster layout here at Albert Park, and teams need to focus on getting high and medium speed cornering right to set a good qualifying time. Karun, how do you think Logan Sargent's going to be feeling at the moment? You can tell that we've been watching a driver with real confidence here, and it makes a difference, I can tell you from my own experience. I do like that the... This is Formula One! I do like that the team wear has the orangish yellow, but the drivers have the red. Uh, the results here, practice one. Uh, we didn't actually run pretty hard. Two and seven, the 118, 184. And then two long runs, the 119, 4, 119, 6. And then 119, 4, 195 as we're going into qualifying. So we'll do what we always do and uh, go from there. So let's get to it. All right, coming up to the end of our first run here for season number two. Sergeant ahead of... I think I gave them an extra lap of fuel. I don't know. So where we're at here. Wanna shooting up to the top, Sergeant, no improvement. No, he's up to the top. Invest. Invest no, right behind three tenths. That's entry. good for a start. Copy. I know we're not gonna do too well. But if we can get into Q2 for the first race of the season. We're coming in. You guys watch me take off that extra lap of fuel, I don't know. What, what the timing was. But uh, let's go ahead and jump on over to our final run of Q1. All right, a lot of traffic here come towards the end of our first qualifying session of the season. And we're still sitting around the midfield. Vesti needs some improvement. Sergeant needs some improvement. Try to come in through behind the Red Bulls. Vesti's going to be coming across the line first with Sergeant close behind. Let's see if there's an improvement here. We still have that little marker above the cars. I don't know what that is. Let's see. Um, no improvement from either driver. We were using the same set of tires, so hopefully we are uh, in the safe range, but we never know. Now Verstappen and Ham Hamilton and the Mercedes uh, doing their run right now. That's P11 currently. Let's see if we do make it into Q2 here. 37 seconds to go. Mercedes crossing the line. Can you uh, just keep an eye on your mirrors, please? Just for anyone keeping their pace Staffing up. Staffan knows Hamilton starting their run. The Astrid jumping to the top. Here that was Hamilton starting their hot lap. And for Staffan starting their hot lap. We will clear across on the line. Looking for an improvement here. No improvement from them. Staffing. Starting their run. Pass coming in. There's Alpine. Red Bull. Harris crosses the line. 
Ricardo makes it into P16. We're still looking for the Mercedes and Leclerc. I believe Leclerc is on a hot lap. Yes, they are. Stopping. Hamilton's coming in behind. See if he improves. Gonna be no improvement from him. Oh, there is gonna be an improvement from Hamilton. Up into P5. Now it's up to Verstappen. Let's see if he knocks out Vesti, and it looks like he may do that. Only four hundredths of a second off of the cutoff point. And there's also Leclerc too. Any improvement from Leclerc? No improvement from them, and then Verstappen in the Mercedes up in the P10. So that knocks out Vesti out of Q1. We made Sergeant um, P14. Good run for him. We spent a little bit more time on qualifying this season. That way, you guys can see the performance as it uh, progresses. Frederick Vesti just a few hundredths of a second out of Q1. Logan Sargent in the Q2 at P14. Alright, let's get to it. And flying lap, additional fuel. And flying lap. I don't know what's going on here. But uh yeah, so we stayed on the same set. We'll do we'll use two sets this time. To try to get into Q3. But it's doubtful, but we'll still try for it. See if we can get some tow behind someone. Coming across the line again. 115 from Hulkenberg. So where we stack up. 116.53. Alright, so it'll be uh, normal in lap procedures from now. I think it's, it's counting their out lap. Uh, from when they leave the pit box. I think it's because we're behind the start finish line. If it's counting that. Could be wrong. Um, while we're out, still, uh, there's a little bit of a different uh, kick salber. Still rocking the green. We don't have the big lightning bolt across the uh, back of the car. And then the Porsche kind of reminds me of the uh, S Martin Honda from Manifold. It's a really good shot there. Reminds me of the Andretti Cadillac, too. But, uh, yeah. We'll see more of those liveries during the race. Let's get to that final run. We're looking at 1.7. don't know where the time is that Hauger's at. See where we end up. See if we can get into Q3. We are P15. And that is no improvement for Sergeant. We will take that start. I am completely okay with that. A decent. I had the idea that we were going to be a decent midfield fight. I just didn't realize how bad of a setback we were going to be. Um, I didn't want to really cheat the other, the second save file with the research. So, uh, just picking up where we left off, pretty much. Alright, let's get to results. Alright, K-Mag knocking us back to P15, or P16, P17 start for us. And we are expecting a good race result, hopefully. Uh, hopefully we don't fuck it up as the, uh, doing it manually. Well, the fans here are all set, every one of them eagerly awaiting the 58 laps of today's race. Albert Park often seems to set teammate against teammate. From Hill and Villeneuve dueling for the 1996 win, to Bottas beating fellow Mercedes driver and pole sitter Hamilton to the win in 2019. Albert Park is a deceptively easy track to learn, but it's just as easy to make a mistake around its walled sections and gravel traps. The street circuit is high downforce and just as heavy on brakes as it is on tires. The excitement is building, there's electricity in the air. 
but there's no surprise in that. It's race day. Really nice garage shot from our car. Starting grid, do we bump up from the starting grid? I don't know if this race starting grid is a cup or not, but uh, these times are wrong. We're not going to be starting in first place, I know that for a fact. But I don't know what it is about this. I don't know. Anticipation is really building here. The fans in attendance are absolutely buzzing with excitement. This race sees them start in P22, and that's an awful lot of cars to have to get through. So let's see what today has in store, shall we? Get ready for the All Australia right, here we go. Three. Season 2 Australia starting us out. Both and McLarens on the front out, row. Here we, we go. go. Go aggressive. Down, we'll both it. drivers. Yep, Testy up in the P14. A lot of drivers side by side coming through the first now. few corners. We're going to try to do a one stop with the rain. Let's see where we go from there. Said to come in 32 or so. But the overcast will help us cover on those intermediates. It's supposed to get worse, like wet weather uh, situation. But that's the towards the end. Right. Best step in P13. Sergeant overtakes Perez. Nice on the inside. And a better launch. Let's take a look at everybody's tires here in a second. See if everybody else is going to try to go for the one stop. Holkenberg, Albon. Magnuson, Hamilton, Verstappen, Ricardo, Leclerc. We're all going to try to go for a two stop on the rain. Everybody else looking for a one stop on those hards. Bessie trying to push Joe out of the way. Trying to make a move on the inside. He may be able to get it there. Alonso fighting Piastri for the lead up front. And Verstappen just caught behind us on those soft tires. Very nice overtake. You're doing a very good job. And then I decided for this season we're gonna do the uh, track loading screen for thumbnails. Let me go. Let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, if you guys want to do the track loading screen uh, for a thumbnail or something in the race. The good nice side profile of the car in the, in the dry weather. Car behind now, Perez still pushing. Yeah, the point four. sitting back behind the Williams cars. Waiting to make his move, I'm guessing. Let's see what kind of push we get here. And we did drop about three laps of fuel. Knowing full well we'll get a lot of that back in the rain. Now that I think about this, the uh, delivery of what we stuck with kind of reminds me of the uh, Vodafone McLaren. But uh, yeah, it looks like our drivers are settled in. So we're going to go ahead and sim a few laps. Let's see what kind of difference we can make on uh, our drivability. Alright, lap 12. Vesti's still trying to fight for Stappen. Verstappen made it ahead of us a few laps back. Gaz is holding on to the fastest lap. Update on tires, please. The sergeant sitting back in P16. Or over the sergeant. Let's take a look here. Maybe a move on the outside here for the next sector. Yeah. We are 
No, start of sector two. In of sector one, start of sector two. Yellow flag, sergeant out. Oh no. Man, I just. Oh. What happened here? Okay, so that was a this lock. Is what okay. Let's have a look then at turn six. Was he trying to overtake? No, he just caught. The car. They took a gamble, and it was just too late. He was just caught in the dirty air. Phase update when you can. Let's see how his tires are going to be after that on the next lap. Because I believe I do have Sergeant coming in first, yeah. Albon coming in on... What tires are they? Um, Albon's coming in from softs. Is he going to mediums or is he going to another set of softs? He's going to another set of softs. Vesti, P11 now with that pit stop. Verstappen's still close. He's caught between Hauger and Hulkenberg. We're gonna try to close in on them. Can Prince overtake where possible to discharge the battery a little bit? Yeah, probably that. We've still got till half 30 or so before the rain comes in. We'll sim over a few laps and see what happens. And then after that, we'll get to the rain. Magnussen in your DS. Esty currently fighting for points right now. Nobody's on the, uh, nobody's lapped yet. That's good though. We had a lot of that last season. I hope we don't get that a lot on this season. On tires when you can. Struggling a bit. Staff and overtaking sergeant will let that be. The McLaren's are really pushing hard. We're in this little mini train with Hauger and Gasly. Almost able to make a move there on the Ferrari. We'll push a little bit extra. Okay, to pick up the pace. I'm half tempted to drop some of our fuel because of the rain, but I know we're definitely going to slow down because of the rain. There's Howard for the move on Gasly. I'm doing everything I can here. Let's get back on it. Leclerc now the car behind. 3.5 second gap behind. He doesn't have damage at Just having a bad race, first race of the season. All right, we'll send to the rain. All right, the rain is starting to fall. Sergeant is not having a good race. Four laps early. Nobody coming in yet for intermediate tires. Gastry has an engine issue. We'll wait for these guys to see if they come in. Oh, that's an incident. Um, if any of those guys come in, we're going to be coming in as well. On those intermediate tires. Nobody's coming in yet. That is Sonoda in yet. In... We'll go ahead and call Vesti in for enters. We'll also call Sergeant in for enters as well. We'll run them on a standard pace. Box, 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 box. Copy, box. Alger's staying box, out. Box, box, we got to enter. Box, box. More rain falling now. Doing a double stop, but we are spaced out enough. Alright, here we go. Let's hope for no issues on our first race. 
at a tree. Very nice, clean stop there. Now for Sergeant. Some reaction time and no full throttle before pit exit. Another pit stop with no issue as we're clipping through the Williams there. Albon had a pit stop issue. No standard and standard. Hamilton behind you now. Standard and standard. All right, rain is out. We work on tires. Let's focus on warm up. You're on Joe's tail. We should be fine running standard to the end of the race. We'll have to wait and see because that projection is wrong. Gap point two. 32. So all the front right. runners are coming in. Yellow flag. What happened? Where is it? Let's Joe, lock up. Now this is turn six. Out lap for enters. And the car yep. just locks. Just unable to control the car by that point. No issues there. Right. Track conditions have changed to damp. We're over the one millimeter of water. See where Vesti ends up. A lot of people are still in the pits. Hulkenberg's coming in. Oh, they're coming in. Vesti's gonna be coming eight. P9. Vesti will be P9 with a good gap to Hamilton. And then they'll be in the fight with Sergeant. When he, when they come out. Uh, I don't know where my pace is, man. I'm really struggling. Can I keep hitting the guy? He overtook him on the way out of the pits, Along didn't he? the straights here. Can they squeeze by? I just noticed that the, uh, High Tech GP and the uh, Porsche livery looks quite similar. They go to 17. Side by side. We'll take that. Vesti is still four seconds ahead of Perez. I don't know what his pace is like. Go ahead and deploy. Overtake some available. Battery and uh, sim through some laps. Let's see what happens. All right, we have a safety car. What happened? Safety car. Gastry with heavy damage. We need to do what we can to recharge the battery. Okay, mate, let's get to zero on that Delta. Copy that. Good concentration. Right, let's on see what happened. Gastry four. retired. What happened here? Let's look after these tires. We Copy. Want to go in for fresh tires. Judge on. Copy. That's conserved. Manage your tires. Okay. That at standard. Okay, mate, let's keep this lifting coast up. We didn't get the prompt to see what happened. push. Unless he actually retired with terminal damage on track at that final corner. We're going to see if Nor Norris comes in for new enters. I think we can hold on to it. Ross. Judge off. All right, safety car should be coming in this lap. All right. Safety car is in this lap. Safety car is in this lap. Set to aggressive. Especially so let's for concentrate on what we need to do for the restart. Copy. Set. Boy. Let's pick our pace up. Let's go. We'll take the defense off of No lift and coast Vesti. required. Oh, look at this staggered no, no, lineup. Lift off requires. <laughs> Overtake available. Yeah, Safety car on the first race of the season. Piastri out on the McLaren. Norris in the Red Bull. Leading Alonso in the Aston Martin. And we're on to a restart. 
see what we can do. What happened here? Another yellow flag? Reminder not overtaking to the control line. What happened? Who spun? Aaron spun in the background on the restart. Putting too much power down on the restart. Look at that. Yeah. The inexperience. I'm starting to feel like we uh, didn't make a bad choice there. Hope we'll wait and see. Towards the later end of the season. And we have another safety car coming in. Uh, every, just behind. Everybody's going to be pushing Gap behind at the six. end of the race. All to play for still. Are they racing? Or is it a safety car? No safety car? I'll try. Everything you've got, please, mate. Come on. Everybody's racing. I guess there is no safety car. Alright, that was weird. Keep the head done. If we can push these intermediates to the max, we will. Let's see, best head of Gasly. Go ahead and simulate a few laps and uh, see where we end up as Hulkenberger, this challenging sergeant for a position. In front of us, Gasly. Alright, we'll see you guys in a few laps. Alright, starting lap 50, Vesti fighting Perez. Well, he was fighting Perez for P6, now he's in P7. Sergeant still holding off Verstappen. Now he's trying to fight Ricardo. We'll go ahead and give him that DRS, or uh, that battery. Okay, mate, overtake's available. Copy. We're not quite there for full wet, so we're not gonna have that happen. But for the race. It'd be nice to get Sergeant ahead of Ricardo for a decent uh, finish for the start of the season. We're sitting at good points right now with Vesti and P7. I think projected would be uh Gap point two. Can you talk? It's all good. Yeah, projected would put us fifth with six points. I'm still looking to push. Uh we still have plenty of fuel even though the track looks like it's starting to dry out actually. Now we can part see of there what it is. Happened. Now this is Logan Sargent. Oh he got caught up by Hamilton. The opportunity's there. Very nice overtake. That puts them in 13th place now. Is he still ahead of him or no? Yeah, he's ahead of him. There's a big enough gap between Vesti and Sonoda for P8. Gasly's putting pressure on Sonoda as well. Currently P13. So I think we're to dry out. Hamilton. So. Gap point three. Ricardo, the car behind. Go ahead and drop down to standard. Gap behind point Try three. Pull, pull the tires down. Hamilton is the car in front. The track looks dry. Gap point this. two. An awful lot can happen here. Okay, maximum focus on cooling down those rear tires. We're pushing our tires pretty hard. Copy. We're trying to conserve them. Rain's just stopped. Copy. We're gonna stay out. At least keep Vesti in the points. Alright, we'll keep an eye out for Sergeant and we'll simulate towards the last few laps. QNTP7. Keep me posted on track condition. Alright, the track is dry. Three laps to go. Vesti dropped down to 8 from the flare. That's, I believe, 4 points. Overtake available. 4 yeah, points okay. now. We'll stay ahead of Pierre Gasly. He's about 2 seconds behind. So our tires are starting to heat up. Copy that. We have to protect those tires. Alright, let's start the final lap. Vesti's second and a half behind the Claire. Three seconds clear of Gasly for P8. Help me out. As long as he can hold on to that, it's going to be okay, four points. Verstappen overtakes Sergeant once behind. again. 
one more lap. I left him on one top. Up. That's my bad. Yeah, He's overheating his tires. They both are. Let's keep I think going. everybody is. Overtake available if needed. Copy. Oh, it's a big fight here in the backfield. A lot of stuttering going on with this fight. Got to lose position to Albon as well. Uh, right, buddy. It's all good. It's all good. Both Mercedes ahead. Oh, Sorry right now. Vesti's clear for points. Good job. Just back we right now. Okay, Hamilton in front. Get back with the 15. Don't risk it. It's the final lap. Oh, mate. Let's give it oral. I was really hoping he was going to hold back on, hold Verstappen back, but Hamilton let him through. Ricardo on the move against Hamilton ahead. Come on. Final few corners here. Norris takes the win for the first race of the 2025 season. Alonzo P2 signs P3. Bestie, the rookie of the year. One of the rookies of the season. Takes P8 for his first points. And Sergeant, back in P15. Okay, mate, that's the checkered flag. Oh, that was a nice race. That was a decent race here. Really mixed, really mixed field. Even though on paper our car says we're the last, we're the worst. So, Yastri out early. And in comes Max Verstappen, soon to be greeted by his team. Just out of the points today with a P12 finish in the end. And after such a fabulous drive here today, it's no surprise to see this man land on the podium. Their first win of the season, and the team looking on will be very proud, I'm sure. Well, it wasn't exactly a walk in the park, but it was a thrilling weekend here for us all at the Australian Grand Prix. Karun, how do you think they'll be feeling in the team garage at the end of that? Well, it was a bit of a mixed bag here. Some things went their way, but others didn't. I think their main target now will be finding some consistency for sure. We do have two parts in and development right now. For this weekend's here in Melbourne. Next round, we'll see us head east as F1 prepares for the Japanese Grand Prix. We'll see you at Suzuka, a firm favorite for the drivers. All right, Frederick Investi, first race of the season as an F1 driver, P8 for four points. Really good start for us, P5 with those four points. McLaren, Red Bull, 35 points, Aston Martin, 26, Ferrari, 19, Mercedes, Max Verstappen. P8, no points for Max Verstappen, the reigning champion. Fastest pit stop, we didn't get the top 10 here. Nope. 2.7. 2.79 and 2.74. About a half second difference. Both of our drivers made their target. Bessie didn't make his contract bonus. I believe it was like 13th or 14th. I don't remember how that works actually. But we will have to wait and see. China in four days, March 14th through 16th. Go to our inbox here. Australian feature race, Victor Martins wins for F2. Rafael Villa Gomez for F3. And yeah, we have some, we have chassis and under four in development. We're really gonna spend some more time focusing on that stuff. That way we don't go into debt. Um, so we're gonna be very spacious and well, very cautious on what we do for our season. 
But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and simulate through the Chinese Grand Prix as it's the second race of the episode. And uh, we'll get to the results and then we'll finish out the rest of this video. I mean, we can go ahead and ignore that. The order is wrong. Lionel Norris, back-to-back -back wins for main events. That's going to be Lionel Norris, Carlos Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Sergio Perez back in P4, Oscar Gastry. And uh, no points yet for Max Verstappen, the reigning champion. As the constructors, Red Bull, Polizano, Lee, McLaren, Aston Martin, Ferrari are still sitting in P5 with those four points. No uh, finishes for us. We did get bumped up to P10 for this fast pit stop, even though we haven't gotten on the parts yet. One tenth, just under two tenths of a second away from getting in that top 10 for Logan Sargent's pit stop. Neither of our drivers hit our target. Right, the next episode is going to be Japan and I forget already. I forget the schedule already. Japan and Bahrain. We're going to go ahead and simulate through Japan. We'll manually do a Bahrain for the fourth race of the season. Inbox here. Match survey. Neutral, positive, unhappy about. What are you guys unhappy about? Everybody feels positive. They're very unhappy about stuff. Let's take a look and see what they're unhappy about. What you're unhappy about. Your hard performance and low facility condition. Okay, we'll have to go and uh, refurbish some of that if we have the money for it. Um, which I don't know if we do or not. Simply upkeep. Refurbish. Yeah, we won't have the money to do all that. So, uh,. We'll have to struggle about some other things, but uh, what I wanted to get to you guys, the uh, chassis and underfloor uh, designs, which I believe will be ready by um, maybe Miami, Jetta, Miami, uh, Imola, more than likely. I'll have to wait and see here, as our car stats are not that great. But it does seem like uh, the game heavily favors that you manually uh, do a race. As you guys saw, uh, we didn't score any points for the feature or uh, sprint. And uh, yeah, so we'll have to go from there. Frederick Vesey, P9 in the championship, our rookie on the team, uh, leading against Logan Sargent. We'll see you guys in the next episode for Season 2 our F1 manager career mode.